Enough with this work crap. I'm gonna look at some baseball cards. How many of you had that poster growing up? Hey again, guys. Man, I have something really rare to show you. Um, man, I'm excited to show you. I'll show you a few other things I got um, before I show you this, though. Got a 1970 scratch-off Hank Aaron. Just in beautiful condition, unscratched. I ended up with a handful of these when I was a little kid, and I don't know where I got them because I had no 1970 cards. The oldest cards I had at the time were 1971, but for whatever reason, I ended up with a handful of those. And this took so long to get here from Japan, I don't even remember getting it. Tony, you'll appreciate that one, and you're going to appreciate the other thing I'm about to show. And then, um, you know, I've been showing some Tony Pena's, so why not? I got a mini here from 86, Fleer. Those are actually kind of tough to find, those minis. And that brings me to my rare special piece. Uh, these are old Menko cards. You know, um, the Americans would tour over in Japan, and uh, they became... Um, a lot of the American players became very popular over there. And one that did was Joe DiMaggio. In fact, um, in that exhibition, Ferris Fane was, I, I believe, the one who really had a phenomenal game. Um, but Joe DiMaggio, you know, captured the hearts of the Japanese. And they would routinely include some of the American players in their cards. And I got my hands on this uncut sheet featuring... The Joe DiMaggio. And it's interesting because some of these are not baseball players. This is uh, Victor Sarfin. He was one of uh, the top pitchers over there. He was actually Russian born, but his family moved to Japan and he became one of the top pitchers. And this is Beto. I've shown you him before. So there are some good Japanese players on here in addition to to this beautiful, <laughs> I don't know if it's so beautiful, um, card of Joe DiMaggio. That card alone is not that easy to find, but man, getting an uncut sheet is pretty, pretty rare. So, you know, Tony over at JP Wisco, if you haven't checked out his channel, do so. Um, he can read these. So I'll, I'll routinely send him and I'll, I'll say, who is this? And he always has an answer for me. Um, so I'm sure you could appreciate that. And then Ken's Cardboard. I showed some of these cards and you said that you noticed I had some doubles. And you asked about this card. I do have doubles of this and I'm happy to send it to you. If you need it, let me know and I'll ship it out to you. And that's what I have for you today. Thanks for watching.